Douglas here from Inside Blackberry. We're at uh, Blackberry World 2011 in sunny Orlando. Uh, and I'm here with Nadim, and he is the Senior Director for Platform Architecture. And he's going to actually demo something that we talked about in the keynote today, which is the uh, app player for Android applications. Mm -hmm. So uh, let, let's just jump in. Um, for people who might not be familiar with the announcement, could you just explain kind of what, what the idea behind the app player is, and then we'll go through a little demo? So, so what we're announcing today is, um, or what we have announced uh, a month ago or so, is that we're going to have the capability to um, launch and play back, so to speak, Android applications. So you'll be able to take your application, package it, sign it, and deploy it to App World, and you'll be able to download it directly into um, Playbook and, and run it. So then, uh, from the, I'm, I'm guessing we're, we're going to demo this, but the, the end user experience is pretty much the same as any other BlackBerry app. The, the point is really about expanding the set of apps for, uh, that are available for the playbook. So, so we just want to get them from every possible source, and Android applications are definitely a rich source. OK, cool. So that, let's uh, take a look at how this looks. All right, so, so a couple of things to point out. Um, first off, um, all these applications that you see on the screen are actual Android applications. We just happen to install them on the playbook using our uh, new technology. And applications play in, a, in an application window called Android Player on the, on the playbook. Um, uh, you know, when I click on an application, the application runs. Now you'll note that there are no buttons on the, uh, uh, on the device. So to get back home, you do your usual home gesture. And to navigate between applications, you use uh, the back key here on the, um, uh, uh, on the title bar. So here's a music application. You, know, you have a piano here. You hit back, and that's basically just like Android back. You, know, you can play drums if you like. You know, lots of noise. So the, the user experience is just very familiar to you. Yeah, absolutely. So it's, it's, it's an app. And from the user's point of view, there's really no, no big distinction. All right, so I'm wondering if you could just show us a few more applications which kind of demonstrate uh, like the rich rendering and kind of performance of the playbook. Mm -hmm. uh, so I know IMDB was one that I thought was pretty cool. Yeah, absolutely. So here it goes. Here's the IMDB application. You, know, you can see um, the most current movies and TV shows here. You can get information about a TV show. Uh, you can see um, who's who in the show. You can actually see pictures from the show, et cetera. So and it's all live connected and with loading performance. Loading extremely quickly, yeah, absolutely. very rich graphics, um, mm -hmm. and experience basically the same as a, a regular BlackBerry Playbook application. Yeah, absolutely. Here's another application. This one's called Game Center, and it shows you uh, uh, kind of uh, uh, video game previews, ratings, and screenshots, etc. And so, once again, live and um, uh, working off of um, live data. So let's pick one here. You can actually uh, home front see, great game. Yeah, you can see you know uh, uh, users' ratings and uh, reviews, etc. And if you want to see images, you can see images awesome. loading directly. As you can see, performance is incredible and pretty much instantaneous and all live connected. And it, just as we said before, the idea of this is to just give BlackBerry Playbook users access to just a, a bunch more applications. Absolutely, yeah. We're, we're really after the, the richest range of applications that, that, that we can find.